upgrade your power drawbar. Remove the three M14 flathead cap screws that secure the power drawbar cylinder's assembly mounting plate with a 10 mm hex wrench. Set the mounting plate and its hardware aside. Remove the three 105 mm power drawbar standoffs from the pneumatic cylinder with a 17 mm open-ended wrench. Discard the standoffs. Remove the hex head screw from the power drawbar cylinder rod with a 24 mm wrench. You may need to use an impact driver. Remove and discard the M16 washer. Install the jam nut onto the hex head screw and then install that into the power drawbar cylinder rod. Install the three provided 152 mm power drawbar standoffs with a 17 mm open-ended wrench. Reinstall the mounting plate and its hardware onto the power drawbar cylinder assembly. Install the power drawbar cylinder assembly onto the mill's spindle head with the quick release pin and the compression spring shoulder screw removed from the original power drawbar. Connect the air lines to the power drawbar cylinder. Adjust the hex head screw with a 24 mm hex wrench so that it's about 20 to 40 thousandths away from the BT30 drawbar. Then secure the jam nut with a 20 mm hex wrench. 